Hello and welcome back. It's been a little bit, but we are back and at it. Today we have a 2022 Forest River Cherokee Alpha Wolf that uh, just showed up. It is a 26RB-L, and I guess I'll just get right into it. It does have a place for an exterior TV mount here. Exterior speakers ready to rock and roll. A little leash latch so you can uh, tie the dog right up here. Does have, and we order them all this way with the power uh, power stabilizers there. There is a juice pack, so a solar panel on the roof. Solar charger in here, automatic lights. Of course, this is the pass-through, so plenty of space there. Slam baggage doors, magnets to hold it up. Does have the power tongue jack, fiberglass front cap. A nifty little uh, light on and off feature here, you can kind of see it. And again, just the off-camp off side here, just kind of zipping through real quick. It is prepped for uh, slide-out toppers, so you don't have to worry about uh, getting that ready to rock and roll. Nice outdoor shower, light, your convenience station, all your plug-ins, black tank flush, all that good stuff. They do come with a spare tire and a flip-down luggage rack. It also has a backup camera already installed, so it is ready to go. Do not have to add one after the fact. This one has an outdoor kitchen. Nice big sink. Lights, cabinets. And of course, a huge fridge and freezer. Propane quick connect down here. So if you want to add a grill to it, you are all ready to rock and roll. Uh, dry weight on this thing is 6148 as it arrived today. Looks like the uh, truck transporter company left the uh, license plate on it, so he will probably be coming back. Just a quick panoramic view here. And I'm gonna go right back to where we started. Nice big pantry as you walk in here. Plenty of storage, coat hanging hooks. There is a light in here, kind of blip, blips on. You can kind of see what you're doing. Um, right over here, you do have electric water heater, of course. That is your solar charger on the roof, telling you where your battery's hanging out at. And then of this, of course, does have this uh, essentially one control. You can drive your camper from your cell phone, slide out awning, lights, check tank levels, all that good stuff. To the camper itself, nice big sliding door, farm door, so to speak, to come into the restroom. Automatic light just clicked on down there if you noticed. Medicine cabinet, power, and then there's an access panel down below, so no storage there. There is plenty of room around this, John, so you can uh, fit in and do whatever it is you need to do. Nifty little blue light there. There is a huge fan right over the John as well. Definitely help exhaust some of the uh, Maybe the unpleasant odors, but also a lot of the humidity you're going to get when you take a shower. And of course, huge storage in there. It goes right above the outdoor kitchen. You've got your hanging, you saw the light, and then we're moving on to this huge shower. Nice shower surround, skylight on top. Nifty little shower curtain just kind of rolls up and away, so that is also very, very convenient. Uh, moving into the main area, as I'm sure you saw, your couch right here does face A, the fireplace, but B, where the television would be. We do not order them with TVs. It's just too hard to pick out exactly what everyone wants, whether they want 4K streaming, I want a Roku TV, I want a... You get the idea, so. TVs are easy to add after the fact, and you'll probably be able to pick out which one you want. Uh, versus just getting whatever we give you. USB ports kind of surrounding. Um, we did touch on the fireplace down here. The stereo is right above it. I am going to point out that this is a jackknife sleeper sofa. Plenty of room for storage underneath. This one does have a huge U-shaped dinette. These drawers pull out about a mile long. I mean, it's huge. Um, should have a little bit storage underneath that middle cushion there. Um, that drawer over there will do the same exact thing this one just did. Kind of coming around and I know I'm spinning your head, but huge fridge and freezer. 
It is a 12 volt rig, so much more efficient. Solar panel on the roof will definitely help out with keeping that battery topped. Do have a removable backsplash and cutting board. So kind of nifty, that holds up with magnets. Traditional stove and oven, decent storage. And you kind of got the idea there was some drawers over here just by looking in there. Looks like you got a TV mounting piece in there as well. Big farm sink, hand sanitizer, soap, whatever it is you want to put in there. Nice deep cabinets, kind of nifty. Microwaves up top, of course. And then I am going to, well, I'll pause a sec. There is a light that goes on top of the slide out. There is blue lights and the speakers. And I'm going to point out that this is a subwoofer. So a little bit nicer than just having the little, the little baby speakers in here. You get better sound. Moving into the bedroom. Queen bed up front. Windows on both sides of the bed. I have them closed from a light standpoint. Hanging in the bedroom, which is also convenient. TV hookup, there's a TV backer in that wall right there so you can kind of do your own thing. 110 power on both sides, USB. Nice storage in here. Of course, your top will be very, very similar all the way through. Gives you a nice little uh, cubby to put things. And of course, having power on each side of the bed is also very, very convenient. Down below, the sink cover top, and of course, just more storage. Um, I did not point out a few things, but hopefully this will kind of point you through. The only thing that I really missed out on you was uh, your aluminum rims, but I'm sure you guys saw that. All right. Front to back, back to front. This is what this rig looks like. If you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, please uh, use my email down below. Thanks for watching.